Welcome to Higher Education Matters. I'm Jeb Spaulding, Chancellor of the Vermont State Colleges System. This is a monthly program. We thank public access around Vermont for airing it and ORCA in Montpelier for producing it. Uh, it's a show about higher education, people in higher education, uh, exciting opportunities in higher education, uh, challenges that people get to uh, deal with on a daily basis, and we're going to try to help people understand what the options for meeting those challenges are. Um, I first want to tell you about the Vermont State College's system in a nutshell. Uh, we are the extension of the pre-K-12 system into the post-secondary years. More Vermonters enroll in one of the Vermont State Colleges than all of the other colleges and universities in this state. And uh, we are anxious to let people know the opportunities and experiences that they can access at the Vermont State College's system but equally important, we want to touch higher education matters uh, at any institution here in Vermont or across the country. One of the most, uh, I think, important issues people need to think through is how to pay for college. People read a lot about uh, you know, the, the pricey uh, aspects of going to college. Uh, we have an expert with us today that can help us explore how you can afford to pay for college, should pay for college. Our guest is Pam Chisholm. She's the Dean of Enrollment Services for the Community College of Vermont. It's great to see you, Pam. We've worked together over the years. You've we been on, on the board of the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation mm -hmm. for quite a long time and are one of the foremost experts in how to pay for college. So I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Me too, Jeff. You know, I, I think uh, I really like to start, though, with why is it important for people to think about going on to college? Well, I think, you know, all the research has shown and we've read in even our local papers that employers are looking for folks who have good skills, soft skills, hard skills, and you're not necessarily going to get those coming right out of high school. You know, you need some communication skills, you need some um, writing skills, math skills, and you know, unlike me, where a lot of my family, they went to work in the mills in Maine and here in Vermont, those jobs aren't there anymore. Right. Employers are looking for more. And it doesn't mean that you have to go to get a bachelor's degree or even an associate's degree. You can go to a welding program. You can get some of our certificate programs. But embedded in those are the skills to help you work collaboratively in your workplace. Yeah, I think you make an important point there, Pam. I mean, a lot of people may be watching and say, gee, when I think of going to college, it's like, uh, you know, four years, I'm going to be a history major, and nothing, that wrong, nothing wrong with no, that at all. No. But college or post-secondary education means a lot more than that. As you indicated, it might Absolutely. be an apprenticeship program. Exactly. It might be an associate's degree program at Community College of Vermont. It might be a certificate program. And yeah. there are lots of options out there. What I think we do know is that uh, unless you're a superstar like LeBron James, not having <laughs> some kind of post-secondary education is going to severely limit people's lifetime opportunities. Absolutely, and uh, you know all the statistics support that now. And uh, you know, and I think our message has the Vermont State College system is to get that message out there with our business partners too. Right. That this is this is an investment for not just the individual but also for our businesses. And I think the Vermont State College system is doing a wonderful job in terms of elevating that conversation. Yeah, and actually, we're gonna be talking about paying for college and mm -hmm. the affordability, but one of the sort of uh, aspects of that can be the assistance that employers can provide. And Absolutely. oftentimes, employers are either helping people pay to go to college yeah. or bringing programs right into the work site and Community College of Vermont, Vermont Technical College, uh, do a lot of programs where they develop tailored uh, certificate programs or, or, or just uh, uh, upgrading skills tailored to the needs of a specific employer. So, uh, you know, maybe there's some employers watching thinking about, gee, I've got, you know, a fairly uh, large number of uh, employees. Our, our skill levels aren't keeping up with the changing in technology. And, uh, the state college system can can help with that as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, we've had some wonderful examples of that over the years where we've taken our prior learning assessment into right. some major businesses where people who 
Uh, you know, they've worked a long time. They have some really great skills. It can transfer to college credit. And, you know, I've had conversations with a, uh, several folks who's like, oh, my gosh, I had no idea. Uh, all of a sudden, I've got 45 college credits, which is more than halfway to an associate's degree. Yeah. And then they get motivated to continue with the support of their employers. Um, so I think the partnership between business and the Vermont State College system is just going to grow. Yeah. And it's so important. Yeah. And I know you're doing a great job getting out there and beating the bushes. Well, we're trying. You know, and I think, I mean, people do question these days, um, you know, the, whether the price of going to college mm -hmm. uh, is worth it or not. Uh, and one of the things we're going to really sort of try to hit home today is that actually there are a number of ways to reduce Absolutely. the cost of going to college. Uh, and, you know, thinking that I can't afford to go or my children can't or my grandchildren can't is, is a real disservice because the really the bottom line is there are ways they can afford to go. There are lots go. of ways. There are but lots of before ways. Before we get there, I just really want to, I want to finish by saying, look, uh, you know, not going to college has consequences. And the statistics show that not only are your lifetime earnings a lot more with some level of post-secondary education, mm -hmm but people's health outcomes are better. You literally live longer if you're in the group that does go on to college. You vote more often. Uh, you volunteer more, serve on public uh, committees like select boards and so forth in the legislature, uh, and get in trouble with the law less if you're in the group that goes to college. So if you right. think about you know, what you want your children or grandchildren to do, uh, there are severe consequences in not going on to college. Right. When, when it comes to sort of how to pay for college, how to afford it, what is the single most important thing parents or grandparents or friends or neighbors should keep in mind, Pam? I think encouraging the students, regardless of the age, because within the Vermont State College System, we serve high school students, we serve you know the returning adults who may have some college credit, yeah. as, as you've referenced before, I've heard. Um, Explore the options. There are ways to pay for it. There, um, my career has been in financial aid, as you know, Jeb. Yeah. Um, so I think if you talk to your high school school counselor, if you talk to the staff at our admissions offices across the VSC, um, we have ways to help you figure out how to pay for it. You know, there's federal financial aid, grants, loans, work study. We have um, a strong state grant program through VSAC. And all of our institutions also have our own financial aid through gifts from uh, many of our grateful alums and other philanthropic groups. So some of it's merit, some of it's just based on you want to come to school, we're going to help you figure it out. So if somebody, you know, actually is out there and they hear, gee, the, <clears throat> the tuition at X college or university is X, you know, let's say it's not one of the, the Vermont State Colleges have the lowest tuitions in the yes. state for yep. sure, but yep. let's sort of pull it away. If they were looking at some, one of the independent colleges in, in Vermont, we have a lot of them and the tuition was $35,000. Does a family of modest means say, I can't possibly go there? Do they, do they pay no, the 35000 no, They they Generally, they don't. I think one of the uh, tools on any college's website is what's called the net price calculator. And you can put in your family's financial information and uh, your scholastic information and see what you might qualify for. Um, Generally, most people don't pay the full freight because there are other financial aid options, scholarships, merit. Don't just shut off your options because right. you think you can't pay the full freight. Check out the net price calculator. Right. Okay. That would be, I think, a very good right. thing to And attempt. then I'm assuming that, you know, that, you know, for example, let's just take the University of Vermont. Uh, if if a student is from a family that's eligible for, for Pell Grants, for federal mm -hmm. grants, yep. uh, Vermonters don't pay any tuition at the University of Vermont. The, and, exactly. Yeah, and the, so I, I just point that out as an example. Is, hey, you think it's this, but don't let that limit 
you know, your, your child or grandchildren or, exactly. or nephews or nieces' thoughts about going on to college. And people would be surprised. Um, you know, when, when people have questions, what's the best way to get answers, Pam? I mean, should they go to VSAC, go to the college? Um, you know, what would you recommend in that regard? Well, it depends on where they are in the process, Jeb. You know, I think if they're brand new with this and they don't have any idea what colleges they want to look at, VSAC has some great tools. They're a great partner with the, the Vermont State Colleges, and you've worked with them a long time, I know. If you are thinking about particular schools and you've gone on the our website, CCVs or the other Vermont State College websites, the admissions counselors at all those institutions are more than happy to help you sort of navigate this. And we do our very best to want you to come to our schools, right. but want you to be well educated about the whole process. So are people using Community College of Vermont as a, as a way to uh, get mm -hmm. an affordable yeah, yeah. education? And if they start there, do they have to end there? Or, or, or can they no, build uh, on Community you College? You know, at, at CCV, which is my home, um, we would love our students to want to stay with us to get their associate's degree so they have a credential to complete. But we also recognize that part of our success is sort of giving people wings so they yeah. can go where they want to go. Yeah. Um, you know, we have very small classes, you know, 14, maybe 18 students in a class with a large diversity of students, uh, single parents, veterans, older students who are coming back in after being out for a while, along with our high school students because of uh, the Act 77, which is dual enrollment in early college, which I think is really important for people to know. Well, well uh, just while we're on that, let's just stick with it for a second so people okay. know they might not know what is dual enrollment and what is early college. So let's go th with those one at a time, Pam. Okay. So a great opportunity for high school students. Oh, absolutely, that, that if, if absolutely. People, and talk about you know ways to reduce the cost of going to college. Yeah. Those are two ways you can yep. do it. So yep. let's start with. Uh, well, let's dual start enrollment. with. Okay. Intro to college and careers. Okay. Which CCV offers in uh, the majority of high schools around the state and also at some of our centers, which is aimed more at freshman sophomore students to get them thinking a little bit broadly, right? And it's not just about college, it's about careers. So we have that curriculum. And then, as you know, if you are a junior or a senior in high school, you can get up to six credits, or two classes, yeah. I'm using you know our lingo here, credits. Who yeah. knows what that yeah. is? Um, two classes for free through what's known as dual enrollment, if you work with your school counselor and make sure that it fits in with your degree plan for, to graduate from high school. And you can get those in your high school or at any of the colleges that participate in dual enrollment. So there's six credits right there, yeah, six. two classes, okay? Yeah. Um, and then early college. And over college, the years, thousands of Vermont high school students have taken advantage oh, of that yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've just seen it growing. Yeah. Yeah. Early college is for a high school senior and working again with their school counselor, counselor planning what they need to do to graduate from high school. They will take um, 30 credits at the participating schools, which is all in the, the Vermont State College system and others uh, around the state. You can see that on the um, Agency of Education website who participates. And you the state pays for those 30 credits. So we've had students who've come to CCV and other of our sister institutions who graduate from high school, they're already at the second year level, sophomore level, at college. So if you, think about, if, you, yeah, if you think about that, if somebody were getting an associate's degree, like a two-year associate's degree, <clears throat> that early college year and the dual enrollment too, but just to take the early college, that would cut your tuition cost for an associate's oh, degree hugely. by yeah. fifty percent. Well, and or you know, if it was a four-year program, twenty-five percent. That's a pretty good yeah, reduction. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I don't mean to toot CCV's horn, but I'm here, so I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, students can com they can come to CCV and graduate with no student loan debt or reduced student loan debt. We work very hard with them to help keep right. that limited so when they do go on to their bachelor's degree they're 
and we try with, with, you, you know, with within it. the Vermont State College Absolutely. system to have a direct admissions program so yeah. that students that start at CCV don't need to reapply if they want to go to we, Castleton, let's we say. We have great pathways, uh, and, yeah. and we work with our sister institutions within the Vermont State College system and with our advisors at our centers to make sure that students are taking the courses that will transfer seamlessly. Right. So they're not taking anything. It, 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 we appreciate the fact that they'd like to maybe take something different, but all right, let's talk about this. How is this going to help you right. progress? You know, and within what we call electives, which is you know kind of the fun stuff you can take once in a while, right. um, to make sure it still fits. So what? Let me turn around and turn, instead of the most important thing people need to keep in mind, which I think the most important thing to me is, if you are creative and plan ahead a little bit, everybody can afford to go to college in yes. some level. And it's important to figure out you know, what kind of college experience you're looking for, whether you're looking for the certificate, the four-year degree, and there are a lot of variations in the theme, but everybody can afford to go. What are the biggest mistakes you think, Pam, in your long experience that people make? <laughs> uh, I guess the biggest one would be to think, I can't afford to do this. But Besides that, you know, what are, what are the mistakes that people make that they ought to, we ought to try to avoid? I think they look at the price tag on the college websites and they see the sticker shot. You, okay. you know, when you go to buy a car, yeah. you can negotiate, right? right? Okay. Um, they don't give you financial aid to buy a car. Yeah. But when you're applying to college, pretty much everybody's eligible for some level of financial right. aid, be it only loans, be it the work study program, which is um, a marvelous opportunity for people to get some experience in their their area of interest, um, as well as you know the grant and scholarship right. funds that we offer. So, what are the what are what are the federal grants that are available for students going on to the, college? The primary ones are called uh, the Pell Grant. And yeah. um, that's a nationally awarded one. Students have to, students and their parents, if they are considered dependent, which is generally anybody anybody under the age of 24, with some exceptions, um, you fill out the FAFSA. Free application <coughs> We're going to have to get into that a little bit too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and I would advise anybody who's thinking about going to college at least do that application the first year. Because many people are so surprised at, whoa, I didn't know I'd be eligible for that. You know? So that would be, a, it's, it's sort of a, one yep. of the mistakes people can make is, you know, hey, not, not making the effort to find out what's available, but let's talk about the FAFSA again. I mean, you know, how, how do people do that? It's, it's a free application for federal student aid mm -hmm. is, I think, what it stands for. But yep. why is that important for people to take that seriously? That is Pat? the touchstone to be determined if you're eligible for federal aid, and a lot of times institutional aid as well, right. the, the college financial aid that they might have. It's pretty easy to do. Um, we've seen people hold up the full paper FAFSA, which looks like a you know huge income tax return. Right. It's not that way anymore. They use a lot of smart logic behind it. Okay. So if you and I applied for financial aid, our parents' information wouldn't be needed because of our age, right? Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> if they were still alive. Um, so I, and people depending on, you know, their tax status or um, whether they're married or not, it, it uses logic to just take you to the questions that you really need. So it's not onerous at all. And can, do the, the colleges, <clears throat> individual colleges or VSAC, has counselors that are more than happy Abs to walk people absolutely. through this system, so absolutely. they don't need to be stuck out there thinking, mm -hmm. I can't do it. If you're they can't, nervous they, about they it, there are people who They don't have to do it on their own. Right. No, we are more than happy to help them at all of our colleges, and I know uh, VSAC staff come into many of our CCV centers right. to help people who are sort of new, whether they're coming to CCV or not. They just need help negotiating this, because anything that involves money sometimes is right. a little scary, right? right? And when people hear, you know, financial aid, um, it's a combination, it could be loans. With the, we're talking about the Pell Grants, and of course it's important for people to keep in mind, those don't have to be paid back. Grants and do so, that. Grants you know, and scholarships People hear a lot that. about on the news and stuff about people graduating with a lot of debt, and many students do, uh, but equally as many 
find ways to graduate with very little debt. Exactly. And I, I, I believe this is true. I, don't, I wonder if it still is that uh, for a family that's you know, fully eligible for the, the Pell Grants, you know, it's, a, it's a family with modest means and a student wants to go to college, the Pell Grant will cover the full tuition at Community College of Vermont between and the then some. Between the Pell Grant and the VSAC Grant, yes, that covers full okay. tuition okay. and fees. <clears throat> Important to keep in mind, and you know, just as an example, going from Community College of Vermont, let's say you get your associate's degree and you want to continue on to Castleton, Castleton allows students to continue on at the same tuition rate as they were getting at when, Community when College of Vermont. students who get their associate's degree from CCV, Castleton will give them an institutional scholarship that makes their tuition costs at Castleton equivalent to what they would be paying at CCV right. if we offered a bachelor's degree. So. And, and, and while we're advertising for CCV here, uh, it's <laughs> not, you know, in terms of the pathways, uh, you know, we're, we encourage people to look at the Vermont State Colleges, but there are a number of private Absolutely. colleges and universities in the state that are very happy to have the Community College of Vermont students. Well, I and, sometimes and, hear them say, they perform better than the regular, the, the non-CCV students that are coming in. So. That's true. That's true. We've heard that. You know, and I think we hopefully prepare our students well. We help them, give them their wings so they can fly into these other institutions. But we have, within all of the VCS, we have marvelous relationships right. with all the colleges here in Vermont. I think you and I have heard about students who have like, I just want to get out of here. I want to... I want to go someplace else. I need to get out of Vermont. Okay, I hear that. Um, explore some of the options here in state. You can do some study abroad. You can do study within institutions to get that out of state experience and probably save some money. And then if yeah. you want to continue on, grad school, whatever, fly. I mean, I'm always amazed, and, and all, all of our colleges have easy experiences for students to travel or do yes. a whole year abroad. Yep. I yep. love the program that is at Johnson, which is the National Student Exchange, and now the International Student Exchange, where you can go to hundreds of other colleges, exactly. universities around this world at the in-state tuition of Johnson. Yeah, isn't so that marvelous? That, that, that's pretty good. It's and just, it, and I've, I've run into students that say, it's the only way I could afford to see some of the world is through yeah. my college experience. Yeah. And CCV, we, because um, so many of our students have families and they work, they can't go abroad for a semester. So we, every semester, have, um, I don't want to call it study abroad, but we have an, a program where they can experience something different. So we have students going to New York City uh, this semester after having some coursework with us. The next one coming up is going to Paris. Hmm. Um, you know, where you, nice. you, you do the studying, you, you learn about the culture and the food, and, and then you go for 10 days and you are immersed in it. So they can fit it in. Right. And there are so many options within our system for so students I, to do that. I think out in, uh, you know, in the, in the uh, world of television and news, families have probably heard the term of college savings plans or a 529 plan. Mm -hmm. What are those about, Pam, and why, why would people consider starting one for their child or grandchild or niece or nephew or what yeah, have you? Uh, well, for first place, they're tax deductible here in Vermont, so there's a good plan. Um, we set up one for our youngest and started it when he was an infant. I didn't, you know, through my uh, payroll deduction, put it in. It covered his room and board. Um, on, you know, so, so you can put little little amounts in, and other family from, members can gift it, uh, yeah. and you can move it from child to child. So, if my son decided, eh, I'm not ready for college right now, we could have moved it to right. another family member. So that would help. So I think there's, you know, one of the messages I would want to uh, make sure that people walked away from this uh, television show with is the importance of planning ahead too. So yes. that 529, the college savings plans, you can start it at the time the child is born, right? And, exactly. and 17 or 18 years later, uh, it's not gonna be a, a heavy lift for and it's, you. And it's an investment program, so you know, what you put in grows, you know, if it's invested right. properly. 
Um, and they would find out about that at the, at the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation yep. too, right? VSAC, VSAC runs uh, the major one here in the right. state. Um, it's called VHIP, yeah. uh, Vermont Higher Education Investment Plan. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Former state treasurer. Yeah, there right? you go. The state treasurer. But it's a, it's a good thing. And I, I so the message no, is plan ahead. Acronyms. And there's a certain amount of, you know, if I hope it's not politically incorrect to say, personal responsibility, and you know, planning ahead and, and motivating. And students that are in middle school and high school, you know, if you put your mind to it, uh, and you know. Can demonstrate that you you've, you're prepared and so forth. Uh, there are going to be colleges that are going to try to attract you and reduce your cost of going exactly. there. Exactly, and it, but I, I want to say too, Jeb, that people who it, it's not in their family history mm -hmm. to think about planning ahead. There are options for them yeah. too. I yeah. don't want people to feel like they're closed out. No, but I'm thinking. I have this example of this young woman that uh, was from. A rural part of Lamoille County. Nobody in her family had gone to, family had gone on to college. Uh, she went to Johnson four years tuition free on a National Science Foundation mm. program and got the chance to go around the country, going to you know scientific lectures and and, and that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, the student at, you interviewed at, last week, right? Yeah. Well, that was another one, but oh. but yeah, there are lots of examples. So there are examples out there, and I think uh, you know another one since we're running out of time is to me is not all students can go full time. And we have students exactly. with families, we have students with uh, you know, uh, financial issues that they need to work. However, for a great number of students, they should keep in mind if they don't stay on schedule and take you know, the full they five always, courses they a can semester, come back. they're gonna, <clears throat> but they will, if, if, you, if you have a, 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 a child or a grandchild that's uh, going to college and paying tuition and not taking a full course load every semester. There's no way they can graduate in two years or four years. So uh, that's adding to the cost and reducing your income stream later. So mm -hmm. it's just a message to parents. Look, there are plenty of times when students can't take a full course load. Right. But when you go to, I'm not talking about Community College of Vermont here, let's say <clears throat> Linden State College or Vermont Tech, you're paying a tuition cost for the semester, whether you take four courses or six four. courses. Exactly. And if you only take four, you're still paying for what you would have paid if you took six, and you can it, be guaranteed you're gonna have to come back longer than you otherwise would. Try so, to take what you can. So Pam, I hate to say it, but a half an hour has gone by. So what's, again, <laughs> now that we've, we're getting to finish up, first of all, thank you for coming in, but what is the, the, the key message that people need to take away as far as the ability to send your children or grandchildren to college? It's an incredibly important investment in yourself, in our future. I'm looking for people to pay for my Social Security coming up soon, right? So we need people in the workforce. And there are ways to pay for it. You don't shut off the options. Perfect. I think we stop okay. right there. Okay. I want to thank folks for tuning in. This is Vermont Higher Education Matters. Jeb Spaulding, Chancellor of the Vermont State Colleges System. I hope you've enjoyed the show and you will tune in for our next one as well.